Hey everybody, Colnar here, and welcome back to more NCAA Football 2002. In the last episode, we knocked UCLA out of the top 25 with a 27-0 win. And uh, right now, before we start our next football game, I would just like to take a look at the new top 25 ranking. So here's Florida still at number one. Miami's still number two. Georgia's still number three. I mean, Oklahoma's still number three. I don't know why I said Georgia. But Georgia Tech has moved up to number four. And look at Northwestern. They're already at number five already. And you got Nebraska on a bye week. That's when they, but they moved up to six. Notre Dame moved up to seven. Tennessee eight. Clemson nine. Oregon State ten. Now, Oregon lost to USC by three points. And they moved down to 12. Michigan still moving up somehow. Texas lost to Houston, and now they're 15th. And we moved up three spots from 21st to 18th, which is good. Tulane's now in the top 25 somehow. Michigan State's moved up. I mean, moved down. My bad. West Virginia is in the top 25, South Carolina is in the top 25, Colorado State's in the top 25, and they beat San Diego State. Shocking. Now let's look at the media poll. Yeah, media poll is really different. This is the AP poll. Where, do they have us in this? Yeah, we're now 25th in the AP poll. <laughs> Cincinnati's in the AP poll? crazy and we don't have the BCS rankings they come out in two weeks cool so after the Northwestern game is when we see uh, the BCS rankings and here's the Big Ten standing so far and let's look at Indiana right now they're two and one overall and they're playing their first Big Ten game against us. Cool. And they almost lost to Utah. Wow. Who did Michigan lose to? Eh, who cares? But who's last in the Big Ten? Purdue. Okay. So we are currently third in the Big Ten. And Wisconsin's already got a win in the Big Ten. So that's neat. So let's play this week. But before we do that, I want to simulate some big games here. So we got Miami and Pittsburgh. Let's simulate that one. And Miami wins a close one. Uh, let's do Mississippi State and Florida, because they're, they're that's a ranked game. Whoa, Florida wins it in overtime. Wow. Yeah, let's, let's simulate Notre Dame while we're at it. And Notre Dame won it in overtime. Like that much. Might as well simulate Tennessee as well. How about Virginia? They won against Central Florida. Of course. Clemson and Georgia Tech, that's gonna be a good game. Clemson upset Georgia Tech, which means if Northwestern were to win today, they'd be the number four team in the country. And Oklahoma is still three. But will Michigan State upset Northwestern? That's the question. Nope. So Northwestern's going to be number four when we play them next week. So yeah. But anyways, let's stop all this chit chat and play some football against Indiana. So play game. Okay. Then get my profile on there. So here we go. Ohio State versus the Indiana Hoosiers. Let's do this. Now look at this, square to throw to your receiver. Well, 
like throw to the square button is supposed to throw to your receiver that makes it no this makes no sense it makes no sense like I bet a lot of people were probably angry at over the passing controls in this game or maybe you have to hold down the button to throw beautiful blooming just press the button and press the turn ugly as these two teams clash in today's football battle and it's going to be a hot one out here for today's game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Indiana Hoosiers. Hi, everybody. Brad Nestle. A Lee hot Corso game. It's raining and it's hot. As we continue Last to time I checked, of when it rained, it cooled down the temperatures. To see what teams are going to make the bowl uh. and who will be the national champions. The Buckeyes shouldn't have any problems winning this game big. What do you think, Lee? Oh, you got that one right, Brad. Ohio State is going to throw the ball at this inferior secondary the entire game. This will be an aerial assault from the get-go. And yo, this one could get ugly, Kirk. I agree with you, Lee. This one shouldn't be much of a contest. Ohio State has a ton of weapons offensively, but none more potent than their running back. This guy is such a sensational athlete on the field, and Braddy's a true winner off the field as well. If you think he's impressive out there scoring touchdowns, you should see him in the classroom. What a role model. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. All right. Tails worked out for me last time, so let's go with Tails, and it works. And let's defer to the second half this time. All right, we are ready to kick this one away. Josh Houston will kick this away for us. Number and we're ready. And let's see if Indiana takes the Number knee, and they will. In the end zone. Look at those uniforms, man. They are so old. The uniforms is like Indiana is wearing. And they fumbled, and oh, we almost had it, and we would have, we probably would have scored a touchdown if that happened. So let's try that again. Indiana goes with the ace set here. Drops back. He unloads it. Number six. Wow. Okay. Nice gain on the play. The ball was thrown perfectly. Good precision there. Third and five coming up. The Hoosiers line up in an I formation. And tackle by Kenny Peterson. And now Indiana's going to have to punt this one away. Fourth and five coming up here. Number 84 awaiting the return. Punts the ball away. Number 84. And we just got hit. He couldn't make anything happen on that punt return. Yeah, well, there wasn't much he could do in a situation like that. There were just too many tacklers around him. Ball on the 31. First and 10. One man backfield. Number uh, 28. Pitch it off to Jonathan nice Wills and wow, nowhere to go. Down for a loss. And they back up three yards on that play. Ball on their own 27. One man backfield. Number 28 gets a call. We're going to spin move a dude from Indiana, and there he goes. Jonathan Wells, he's going. And they finally bring him down at the 35 yard line. And that was amazing. Huge game. Yeah, Brad, he saw the hole and boom. He gets a nice pickup. I think you'll need an army to stop this kid. Okay, let's go halfback screen this time. Let's go, let's go throw a pass play here. The Hoosiers line up in a 4-3. Throws it out there. Whoa. 
I was able to throw with the button again? When did that happen? How was I supposed to do how did, how did that happen? How did I get to do that? That was the first time I hit L1 and it threw to L1. I am shocked. We're going to run with Jonathan Wells, and that didn't work out so well. Okay. That's a loss of four yards. Loss of four yards. We can't have that. Sorry, they're not. That, that's not going to happen again. Ball on the 40. Ohio State lines up in the ace set. Back to throw. He passes. Oh, I it. held it's down the button. You got to hold. Well, he looked to be a little. You can't just tap it. You got to hold it down. He rush things a little bit. Needs to be a little bit more patient. You know what? Let's get crazy. Let's go for a field goal. On the forty. This is a fifty-yard field goal attempt by Josh Houston. We're on the forty-yard line. It's another ten Number yards from here. Lines up for a long field goal. We can do this. Sure That's this it's not max power, he but I could get there, and it's going, and it's good. 57 yard field goal and I am entering my name for that record that's a ginormous NCAA record and Josh Houston wow he has a boot that's like a Mike Nugent kick I know Mike Nugent's on this team as well but my goodness my goodness folks that that is amazing 57 yards whoa and we are on the board so it's 3-0 we lead that's good number 23 and number zero back to return number 23 kicks it off it looks like it's going to be a returnable for indiana number six fields it at the three a little juke didn't get much of a return there. Oh, that was a fine job right there by the coverage team. They stayed in their lanes and they took good pursuit angles. Ball on the 17. It's first and 10. The Hoosiers go with the I formation. First and 10 at the 17 yard line. Yes, a pitch. And two, Mike Doss says no. That's a six yard loss. And makes Indiana lose six yards. That is amazing. Ball on the 11. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Oh, get him. Oh, I didn't get him. Okay. Oh, whoa. No, that is not right. Whoa. That one was nearly overthrown. Boy, the receiver makes a great play by putting his hands up. He had enough vertical leap to get his hands on it. It's first and ten. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Drop back to pass. Let's it fly. Pick it. Oh, oh great. The 46 yard line. A 10 yard gain. Great. We just gave him another first down. Why? First and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. The Buckeyes bring in their dime package. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Second and nine coming up here. High formation here. They'll run the option. Oh, he fumbled it. Donnie Nicky has it. Oh, my goodness. That is something we definitely need, and that was a turnover. And now the Buckeyes are back on the offensive line. We're now back on offense, and we're in Indiana territory. The option did not work for out well for Indiana. And we're going to hand it off to Jonathan Wells, and let's see if we lost our game. We gained one yard. And seal it off from the get go. Shoot, I'm running out of time. Ball on the 48 yard line. Uh, I'm probably going to get penalized. Yep, that's a penalty. Loss of five yards. <sighs> well, that sucks. Got penalized for freaking. Ball around midfield. Delay of game. 
The Buckeyes come out in the ace formation. Gets the ball. Another Throwing game. it to number 82, and he caught it. Number 25 brings him down. Awesome. So now I can hold down the button now. Where was this for me, like, episodes ago? Jeez. Golly, man. Now, where's my hat back toss so I can outrun these guys? Here we go. It's almost the end of the quarter, so why not end on a running play? And we're going to spin move him, and we got a first down. Can it get to the end zone? No. Well, rats. Rats, rats, and more rats. After a quarter of play, our score is Ohio State 3, Indiana nothing. Now the teams have switched sides and we're ready for the All right, start time for goal quarter. line rollout. Let's pass it to... Let's, let's see. I think Darnell can get it. Yeah, I totally think he can do it. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's got a touchdown, Ohio State. There we go. Let's go. We're ready for football. And wow, Southern Miss lost to UAB. <laughs> That's embarrassing. And Rutgers lost to UConn. And Darnell Sanders is going crazy. Because he caught a touchdown pass from Steve Belisari. Alright, this game is getting fun now. I love fun games. So I just gotta hold down. And he down the extra point. Hold it down hard. All right. Josh Houston to kick this one away. Ohio State to kick. Boom. Boom. Number and yep, they're gonna take a knee. They're gonna take a knee. Watch it. Watch it. They're gonna take a knee. Number six. Take a knee. Yep. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Ball on the 21 yard line. It's first and 10. High formation here. Oh, they're going to option again, and that didn't work. Because Joe Cooper just pushed him down. <laughs> he just took his body and pushed him down. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Now we're going to go man zone on this one. Number 14 is back in the gun. Number 14. Pick it. Oh, Richard, you almost had it. Oh. Man, I tell you, he's had it in his hands and then he dropped with that one. But that's fine. That's fine. We will take it. We will take it. No harm, no foul. We're good. So good. Third and 12 for the Hoosiers. Drops back. He throws it. And that number eleven brings him down. That, at the that didn't, yard line. But, wow. Okay. Well, how about that third down conversion? I am getting really confused I'm really here. With the Why did that happen? Very how did that happen? Out there on that Why is this even play? happening to us? Ohio State lines up defensively in a four three. And he caught that with and one nice hand. Pick up through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I you know, love I've had a lot of He's got a you know wide receivers catch him with one hand. And it was cool. Second and two coming up here. But when other teams do, it's not cool. Seriously. And they stop the clock. Why? Why do you have to go out of bounds and stop the clock? That's not cool. Intercepted by Mike Doss. Mike Doss. Yes. 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 You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. Is how you play football, ladies and gentlemen. You Ball pick it off, first and, and boom, you're off. Number 28. And here's John the Wells. He's okay. That did not work. All right, Steve. It's time for one of my favorite passing plays. Halfback screen. Throw it deep. Indiana. We're gonna throw it to, to Michael Jenkins. Hike. Step back to pass. Throwing it to Michael Jenkins. 
That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision. They're okay. Into coverage. Just take deep breaths. Look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. This time, we're going to throw it to number 82. I don't know who number 82 is on this Ohio State team. The Hoosiers bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. He's going to try and scramble. Oh. He unloads it. Get it. Yes. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they convert the third down. Steve Bellasari is right back there, in business, ladies and gentlemen. Coach, Steve Bellasari, the left handed like senior right captain, now. is back in the game. Comes out in a four three. Number 28. And Jonathan Wills is going to spin move. Brought down. And he gets a few yards. He's almost over 100 yards. That's pretty good. Halfback dive week now. We're going to do this. We are going to do this. How does it almost have that, that much time of possession time as we? You know what? For that, I'm just going to run down the clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, when you have the same amount of possession time as us, we're just going to run that clock down and make sure we have more possession time. All right, let's go. And touchdown. That wasn't a touchdown? Oh, you got to be kidding me. We're on the one. Just, oh, look, the ball has... The ball has broke the plane. That's a touchdown. But no, it seems the game just wants to run us another play. You know what? For that, I'm just going to run down more of the clock. Just running it down. Running it down till it's zero. Woo. Woo. Now we can go. And touchdown, Jonathan Wells. And Brutus is happy. Whoa, Penn State almost beat Iowa. That is insane. All right, let's go with special teams and an uh, extra point attempt. Hits the PAT. And it's good. Excellent. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. Maybe we could drop 50 on Indiana. Maybe. I'm not saying we will. I'm saying maybe. And of course, Indiana is going to take that. They don't want to go out and face the Buckeye. Special teams coverage team. Let's go with Tigers though. Ball on the 21 yard line. Roar. And yes, I just I, I did say roar. Indiana Don't comes judge out of the me. shotgun. Back to pass. And oh, oh, okay, no. They'll bring him down at the 30. They'll get nine yards on the play. Oh, they're short. <laughs> They're short. Ball the Let's 30, go with the crunch and blitz. And whoop, game is coming a little slow. Get him. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Come on, Richard, get him. Thank you. Okay, so things are not going as well as I thought it would be. Um, Ball on the 33. First and 10. We were doing pretty well with defense, but now our defense is looking it's looking off Ohio balance. Lines up defensively in a I, I, I don't go. know why. Number five with a catch. That's a loss of about five. Wow, you threw to a, a screen pass for a loss of five yards. I've seen this many times in real football, but my goodness. Number 14. To have that happen in this Throws game, crazy. Number six. Incomplete. 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 Let's go cover three strong and hopefully this works. The Buckeyes put four men up front. Hunt. Are you going to go? Number 14. Are you not? Ooh, Kenny Peterson almost got to the quarterback, and it's incomplete. Pressure from Kenny Peterson. Right on the money. Made that fail. So what is Indiana going to do? Oh, wait. Is it a field goal? I think it's a field goal. Ball on the 38. Yep, they're going for a field goal. All right, let's see if they can get this field goal. Line up for the kick, and this is going to be extremely long. 
kick he is up, up and nope. Wide left and too short. All right, so let's go for the little play called halfback screen. Ball on the 38 yard line. The Buckeyes set up in the gun. Going to throw go. to Michael Jenkins, and it's incomplete. And oh, incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really All right, back to a running play. A hand on the football by the defense. Second and ten. Ball on their own 38. Uh, hold on. I got to take this call. Okay, guys, so I am back. I had to pick up a phone call from a well-known YouTuber in, you know, in my community. Uh, you may know him as Calyrex V. Maybe. Maybe you've heard of him. I, uh, so, yeah, I had to pick up a phone call from him. So, yeah. So, sorry for that interruption, guys. But, uh, without any further interruptions here today let us continue the football game where um we still have the ball and uh i'm about to run this play so here we go takes a pitch he spins around uh, oh no game wow okay where is the where is uh Let's go vertical. Third down and ten coming Vertical up. this time. Number 28 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Oh, yeah, Michael Jenkins, he's wide open and, and they make the they're short, so I'm going to call a timeout on this one. Four yards short. Let's go for it. I'm getting crazy up in here. The Hoosiers use a four-man front here. Ah, we didn't get it. At the Crap. Yard line. They didn't make it, and they're going to turn it over on down. They're just trying to get a little momentum going, but now the pressure lies on their defense. Well, that okay. didn't work. Number 46. Great. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. Drops to throw. He lets it go. First down. The offense takes a timeout. This is it's not going well for me. Yard line. The Buckeyes bring in their dime package. Defense is blitzing. Miss tackle. Number 97 brings him down at the 31. The offense takes a timeout. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 31. Second down and nine to go. It's second and ten. What? What is the commentators doing? What is Brad Nessler doing up there? Oh, off the back of Joe Cooper and they caught it? No. No. Off. Oh, that, they just, we just did a Georgia. We did a Georgia. If you don't know what doing a Georgia is, it's bouncing off Georgia's helmet and, you know, the, the opposing team catches it. We just did it, Georgia, folks, and I am not happy about that. That is not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was make the pass incomplete. Oh, yep, you got sacked. And they call time. Oh, they're going to go for an easy field goal. Wow. I'm just going to go with a blitz all because... I'm hoping they miss this field goal, but it looks like they're probably not gonna. They they're not gonna miss the it. The kick is up. Yeah, they got it. And it is good. Indiana to kick. Number 28 kicks it off. Number 28 fields at the goal line. Gets past and Jonathan Wells. Whoa. All right, so it's the final play of the half. Why not? Let's go for a Hail Mary. On their own 22. It's first and 10. 
Number eight is back in the gun. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Incomplete. I was looking for Michael Jenkins, but nothing could be done. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Ohio State 17, Indiana 3. All right, let's go back to the action. Hmm, eight returns for 23.6 yards per return. That's pretty good for Jonathan Indiana Wells. Indiana got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. All righty. He kicks it. We're going to take it from our own end zone. Almost got to the 25. Um, that was the 20? I thought it was the 25. Darn. Alright, we're going to go halfback screen on this first play. This first drive here. We're going to throw it to number 82. And he's got it for a first down. Now let's go hurry up with the hurry up offense. Let's hurry up to the line. Hurry up to the line. Hut, 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 hut. Hike! Hike! Yeah, I won't draw them off sides, but I will run down the clock. Since they won't go off sides and give me more yardage. Which I want more yardage, but you know, Indiana, they just, they just don't want to do that. Alright, let's do it. Gonna throw it to Ricky Bryan, and he tipped it, and it's incomplete. All right, time to change it up. Halfback toss. Ball on their own 43, so it's second and 10. If you can just get to f the 40-yard line in field goal range, because that's my range, the 40-yard line for the field goal. And, and oh, at so Jonathan Wells almost, nice almost had that first blockers on that run. Really nice read. It's okay, it's third and, three. Third down and three. coming up. We can do something with this. Indiana comes out in a 3-4. And I'm just going to run down the clock a little bit. Because, you know, I like to take my time on things. Now it's time to go. And it off to Jonathan Wells. And okay, my own guy blocked me and I couldn't do anything. I am not going for it. We, we have the option... We had a chance to get the first down, but uh, seems that I got blocked by my own teammate. And I don't even want know why. There we go. We got the first down. And more. There he goes. Jonathan Wells is almost gone. He almost got the touchdown. Keeps the drive alive on that huge game. Yeah, Brad, two things make this play successful. One, great job by the blockers to hold her blocks and two, all right we're down at the one got some wheels. let's go do an hb draw again halfback draw that line of scrimmage. and touchdown ohio state he was not going to be denied on that one guys you're right brad he saw field goal field goal team well we get to 40 points i'm going to sub belisari I mean, sub Krenzel for Belisari. Which means I'm going to put Krenzel in and take out Belisari. Let's see what Krenzel can do with these new passing mechanics I just... I have just received. Because, you know, the game wouldn't let me Ohio use the State buttons. The but I wanted to use the buttons. But now it's nice to me. Now they are nice to me. I kick. can now use the buttons. And of course, Indiana takes the knee because they don't want to lose a bunch of yardage. Okay, let's go Mad Blitz. I know a lot of stuff hasn't been working here on defense, but we gotta do something. We just gotta do something. Okay, the Blitz did not work. They are passing it fast now. So we gotta have man coverage. Which is why we're going cover it's two man, ten. cover Ball two man. Ohio State comes out in a four three. Drop back to pass. 
He throws it. Ooh, almost. He was able to Picked off that by Buller. Yeah, great play here by the defensive back, locating the ball and going up to bat it away. Let's go with ball man. On Indiana comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He passes it. It falls incomplete. And there was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of it in a hurry, and that's why his pass was off. Uh, let's go man log again. Ball on the 31-yard line. Indiana sets up in the eye. Drop back to pass. He unloads it. Oh, please pick it off. No. Nope. 11 hangs on to it. And they get the first down. That is unbelievable. Wow, Kurt. This quarterback showing some big time nerves out there. Third long, it's just like first and ten to this guy. Yeah, you're right. A lot of poise from this young man. Okay, let's go cover two men again. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. The Buckeyes use a four-man front here. And it Incomplete. Cortland oh, was Bullard oh, man. He knows he was like, nope. The catch. Now he's going to have to suffer the wrath of his coach. This is the sixth play of this All drive. All right, we're going cover two here. The Hoosiers come out the shotgun. Number 14. And whoa. That was amazing. David Thompson just leg sweeped the quarterback. I didn't know if you saw that, but that was amazing. Ball on the 40. A leg, a leg sweep sack. I never seen that before, but the we'll take it. Come out in the ace formation, number fourteen. Back Pick it. And it's caught. Oh, number you got to be kidding me! You ain't got to be kidding me. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk. The quarterback really? was able to Okay, let's go cover three. And the receiver was there to catch it. Cover two is not working anymore. Got to nice go cover play. three now. Upgrading to cover three. Ohio State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Number 88 makes the catch. Nice gain on the play. The ball was thrown perfectly. Good precision there. Ball on the 34. Number five is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. He's on the oh, line. yeah. He's gonna be Kenny the Peterson sacks him for a big loss. Tenth play of this drive coming up. Number five lines up in the deep back. I formation. Drop back and pass. He's looking for his man. Oh, pick it. Oh, Donnie, no. Touchdown, Hoosier. That is terrible. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass. Nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back. Donnie could have stopped it, but no. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. I can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. And he tacks on the extra point. Indiana to kick this one off. Number 28 kicks it off. All right, here we go, Jonathan Wells. Oh, man. What a good return from Jonathan Wells. Okay, we're going to go pro formation halfback screen. Let's try this version of the halfback screen, see if it works. 4-3 defense. back to pass. Going to throw it to number 82. And couldn't catch it. And the guy defending him was celebrating like he did something. Decision, throwing into coverage, needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. All right, now we're gonna go half back tackle on this one. Number twenty-eight lines up as a single back. 
Number 22 tackles him for a loss. Okay, of what was that? Back a yard. Okay, now we're going PA strike. Ace backfield. Number eight takes a handoff. Let's it fly. Catch it. First down. Yes, he got it. And he's taken down at the 46. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. Gets a call. Oh, please, please avoid me. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40. So he picked up a few yards before they brought him down. You know, it wasn't a huge gain, but if they can well, continue do the to scan. do that, they'll force the defense to respect that run, and that'll open up the passing game. Oh, wait. We're not doing scan? Oh, we picked the running play. Indiana Audible. Comes out at a four three. Okay, that's the wrong play. Audible. Well, well, this is going to suck. Oh, well, Steve Belsire is going to run it. He's going to run it. Whoa. And he's taken down at the 29. And that, that was, was the option. Hmm. Run there. Yeah, that was great blocking, Brad, up front by the offensive line. To there open we go. Up that PA ball. strike. This is the sixth play This, this is going to work. The Hoosiers come out in a 34 defense. And let's let the... Let's go to the fourth quarter. I'm just going to wait. All right, fourth quarter. Here we go. And bring this quarter to an end, folks. We played three, and our score is Ohio State twenty-four, Indiana ten, and we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Uh, this time, let's go with Ball twenty-nine. Oh, Ricky Bryan, you got it, and you dropped it. You had it, and you and dropped it. Good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and just get his hand on it. Ball on the 29-yard line, so it's second and ten. The Buckeyes gonna toss it to Jonathan Wells. Spin moves a dude, and here they go. Touchdown, Ohio State. Yeah. This kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. Spoon move the guy, and there he goes. Down the field. Touchdown. That was beautiful. Kick is up. Kick is and good. The PAT. Ohio State lines up for the kickoff. Number six and number twenty-three, deep to the sea. He kicks it. Number six fields it at the two. He juke. Ball on their own 18. It's first and 10. All right, we're doing cover three the week guys, this time. Four men up front. <laughs> Drop back. He rolls out to the right. He Whoa, he man, threw that pass. Back. Out of control, out of bounds. That was just oh, insane. And, ten. Ball on the 18 yard and we're going with quarterback control here. Second and ten for the Hoosiers, and the they are center. looking, they're throwing, and... Wow, really? Down. Really? We couldn't the tackle him? What do you think of that Jim Trump is like, yourself. what? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. First and ten, ball on the 43-yard line. Ohio State going with a three-man front. Now we're going with the three-four. And it's incomplete. Yeah, three-four worked that time. Second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. 
Indiana comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. He throws it. Oh, dude was just standing there and uh, whoa. The receiver's fast. He could have picked it off and ran it back for a touchdown. Ball on their own 43. Third and ten. The Buckeyes come out in a 34 defense. Back to pass. Throws it out there. Incomplete. incomplete. Coach uh, what will that. Indiana do here? That's They're going to go passes. punt it. Cool. That's a good decision. That is a great decision. Number 84. Back to return it. He punts it. All right, we will run to the left. Then we will run up the field. And there goes 84. And he's tackled at the 41 yard line. Man, that was a nice little punt return there. Well, Brad, that was a combination of a couple of things some good blocks, but also the ability to avoid the coverage team by the return man. I want to do an option pass. Let's, ru let's do running back split. yard line. The Hoosiers line up at a 43. Number eight. Oh, Ricky Bryant, he's there. He's open. Number 27 brings him down at the 49 yard line. That's a gain of eight. Okay, I guess forward progress doesn't exist in this game. That sucks. Ball right so around let's go midfield. vertical this time. They line up in an eye. Drops back. He oh, come on, Ricky. He's got it. Oh, yeah. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. First and ten, ball on the 33. 4-3 defense. Pitch it out to uh, Jonathan Wells, and there he goes again! Jonathan Wells, touchdown Ohio State with the celebration. Oh, yeah. It was a big time run. Yep. As soon as he gets his feet. Goodbye, sweetheart. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do something crazy. We're going to go for a two point conversion. Now you're probably like, dude, just kick the first. Just kick the extra point. Nope. And we got the two point conversion. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes! So much power! <laughs> we should be moving up a lot after this win. And then we gotta get ready for number five Northwestern, which is gonna be a tough game. Ohio State is ready actually, to well, actually, number they're six. gonna be number four number after this week. And oh boy, Northwestern. Number 23 kicks it off. You know, fun fact, Ohio State actually upset Northwestern in the 2001 the football season, so hopefully we can do that again. And then we move up to number one after that win, <laughs> which we should. But if we don't, I'm going to be very sad. But hey, all we got to do is just win out the rest of our season. You know, that's all we got to do is just win out. I know Illinois is going to be a tough time, and I know that team of is also going to be tough. He passes it. Oh, and Matt Wilhelm almost intercepted that ball. Play. Yeah, guys, this is just because he's in great position to make just the play. Drop. Ball on the 22-yard line. But that's fine. We're all good. It's all good. Ohio State. No harm, no foul. Second and ten here. Drops the throw. Let's it fly. And he was out of bounds, and that was... Well, this one's on the yeah, that's the incomplete. Yeah, he stepped out of bounds, and therefore that was... That should have been a penalty for an eligible receiver well, down the field. Yard line. They're down and ten coming up. But I guess they didn't call it. Because the back. wide receiver stepped out of bounds there. before he... Uh, like, before nice he caught the ball, so that made him ineligible. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. And now they must punt the ball away. Down and ten. Ball punt the 22. ball away, they must. Number 84, the return man. Punts the ball away. 
Number 84 mm -hmm. takes him at the 43. He just got shut down. And yeah. you know what? I'm going to do a substitution. Let's put Krenzel in. Let's put good old Craig Krenzel in. Just for a couple of plays. Or he just doesn't do well. First and ten. Here's the sophomore quarterback, Craig Krenzel. Ohio State lines up with a split backfield. Play action. This one's thrown deep over the Oh field. yeah, and good down. connection for to Ricky Bryan. Now we're gonna go angle this. It's first and ten. Indiana going with a three-man front. Drop back to pass. He unloads. They're running it to Ricky Bryan, and he's got it again. Whoa, Craig Krenzel. He is on the dot. You know, I'm probably gonna have a tough decision for next week on who's going to be my starting quarterback because right now Craig Krenzel is doing amazing and we just got another touchdown. And so they're able to finally get this one in the end zone on the ground. We're going to go for it on, about the, running backs, on the two point conversion the here. Because why not? Happen. Why not? And we got it. Two points. So yeah this is going to be a tough decision. I don't know who I'm going to have for my starting quarterback at Northwestern. Well, Northwestern's coming to us, so... This is going to be one tough decision. Who do I have as my starting quarterback for Northwestern? Number six takes it at the four. Because right now, Krenzel is, is just popping off. And Steve Belsar has had a little tough time trying to connect with receivers. So... Ball on the 20-yard line. This is going to be one tough decision. First and ten at the 20 yard line. Number 14 drops back. He's looking for his man. Number 11 with a takedown at the 18 yard line. That's a two yard loss. The Hoosiers start this drive at the 18 yard line. They shift on the defensive line. Steps back to pass. He fires right. Number 88 has it. How about that? Whoa, pass, hold on, on hold on. I think he went out of bounds. Football is the relationship before he. And his receiver. Here, you oh, that is just weak, man. That is on weak. The same page. First and ten. I thought he stepped out of bounds before, you know, he got to the first down. He drops back. Throws it out there. Okay, that's not. He's got the first. Number two brings him down at the 46. Ball on the 46. First and 10. Well, it seems Indiana the is bad that I uh, went for two two point conversions and got them both. And boom! There goes the quarterback. Number one just destroyed him. Now Indiana's going to go with a hurry up offense here. Waiting for everybody to get set. They hike it. They're going to throw. It's picked off by Bullard. Cortland Bullard with the interception. That's not what you want and to you know what? Since this um, nope. At this late in the fourth quarter, since you know, my friends, that was probably their last chance. Indiana wanted to, ten. you know, be cool and stuff. They line up in an eye. Oh wait. Oh, I screwed it up. I didn't want it all, boy. And I got a delay of game, of course. Of course, I accidentally hit all the ball. I wanted to do a hot route. Now I'm paying the price for it. I just want to get Michael Jenkins some football time. Back to pass. He's on the run. Throwing to Ricky Bryant, and he's got it. Ricky Bryant. And let's call timeout here. And let's substitute. Man, they're just disrespecting 
freaking Michael Jenkins. 76 overall? He should be a 99. Because that dude is Mr. Clutch. Alright, we're going to do a rollout. In this game. Number 28, alone in the backfield. Back to throw. He passes it. Oh, that was a bad pass. And it falls in I don't know what was going the on there. Pressure forced him to get rid of the ball there, guys. Yeah, great job here by the defense. Getting a good surge up front, getting right into the quarterback's face. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40. Indiana comes out in a 4-3. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's going to try and scramble. He lets it go. Number 25. Bats okay, we're throwing it to Michael Jenkins, Crandall. What are you yeah, he doing? He timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. Uh, Number Jenkins, 16 he was steps back to pass. Backed he up. Can he catch it? Side. He made the grab. That's a first side. down. Yeah. Great deal of concentration because you have to catch the ball and make sure you're in bounds. Let's go with tight end cross now. The Buckeyes line up in a goal line formation. Blitz is on. Looking for Ben Hartsock, and he's got it. But he's short. I'm going to hurry it up with a hurry up offense, and I'm going to call an audible. Here they come. Touchdown, Jonathan Wells. And look at Brutus Buckeye. He is happy. And that is game over, folks. And we're going to go for two here. And we got the two-point conversion. So it's now 55 to 10. And this crowd is silent. Silent. Ohio State to kick this one. Now Josh Houston will kick this ball away for us. Number 23 kicks it off. And Indiana will take the knee. Number six fields it in the end zone. Yep. Takes the knee. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty-one. Number 14 is back in the gun. Drops back. He lets it go. Complete tackle at the 30. Gain of nine. All right, they didn't get the first down, which means... Uh, we're going to get called for offsides because... Yep. David Thompson was on the other side, and we weren't ready. So that's going to... Cost us a five yard penalty. Their own 35. The Buckeyes put four Which is a great time for Indiana. Getting that Eagle penalty, right. but it's too Goes late. It there. Seven yards there. Did we just tip it and he somehow caught it? That that doesn't make any sense. On the Seriously. Yard line. Like, why? The Buckeyes line up in a 4 3. Number 14, back to throw. He unloads it. He's got the first. Number 25 brings him down at the 37. And they get the first down on that completion. And time's up. Indiana loses. Nice Ohio State wins it. And we are now 4-0 overall, 1-0 in the Big Ten. And this ball game's over. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, this is no big surprise. I think we all anticipated a severe beating in this one. Indiana knew they didn't stand much of a chance, but they probably would have liked to keep Wow, most points scored. I'm taking There's that not record. not a whole lot you can do when you're facing such a talented team like that. Well, that'll wrap 55 up another chapter points. in NCAA Sheesh. football 2002. And our final score, Ohio State 55, Indiana 10. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone. There's the final score, 55 to 10. And we get our first Big Ten win of the season. And we're 4-0! Yes!
truly amazing. Ah, Nebraska's versus Missouri. Yeah, let's simulate that game, why not? Well, no wonder. Ooh, Washington versus Cal? Ooh, I wanna see that. Who wins that? Ooh, yeah, we are moving up a lot. It's gonna, it has to be some kind of big time matchup if it's Northwestern versus Ohio State, and we're gonna simulate through week six. Because I want to see where we are. Alright, we moved up another three spots to 15. And we're going to versus the number four team in the country. In prime time action. In the next episode. But before we do that, I want to see the other top 25. So, Clemson's at number five. What if we get a Clemson versus Ohio State National Championship game in the Rose Bowl? That would be amazing. But yeah, so far so good. Ah oh, man, Texas lost to Texas Tech? Dang. Well I guess we won't be seeing a Texas Tech Ohio State National Championship possibly. It's not going to happen. So, dang. we got to go up against Northwestern. And they're 4-0 overall and 1-0 in the Big Ten. Whoa. And their team's kind of like our team. Now, let's see the media poll. Clemson's fourth. Whoa. That's a little overkill. Wow, the AP poll is just not giving us any love. They did move us up five spots, but I think we should be way higher. But then again, somebody might win the AP poll, and we might win the coaches poll, and we might win the BCS. Who knows, but after week seven, we'll know where we are in the BCS. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of NCAA Football 2002. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out my other videos that I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for more NCAA Football 2002. So with that, I'll see you guys later.